how many more years could you see Tiger doing this and if his condition never improves to a point where he's legitimately contending to win major championships? This could be it. I hate to say that um, because I I'm more interested in Tiger when he plays. Um, I I hope that's not the case, but he's 46. Um, You know, that's the age Nicholas was when he won it in 1986. So I hope he plays, you know, as as long as he can, because the sport needs Tiger Woods. Um, But if he's not, it doesn't have a chance to win. If he misses the cut this week. Now you mentioned earlier in the week, the weather is not going to be conducive for Tiger. It needs to be fast and firm. It's going to be wet and slow. So that doesn't help him and is, you know, walking around the the hills there at Augusta. So I hope he, you know, can play out past this year and, and you know, because he can come as long as he wants. And the Masters will surely take him as long as he wants. So I hope it's not this year. I hope it's, a, you know, a couple more years that he can play. But he definitely, like Ed, the great Ed Harden said one time, Tiger is the needle. He doesn't move the needle. He is the needle. Who is the weather conducive to or what kind of game do you think does well with cold temperatures and rain and perhaps whipping wind of 10, 12, 15 miles per hour Friday, Saturday and Sunday? I think it favors the power guys because they don't, you know, they can hit it out as far as they need to and it's not going to get as much roll. So that's going to take it. That's going to be advantageous to the power guys the Dustin Johnsons, the John Roms, uh, the Rory McIlroys. I think those are the guys that, you know, favors when it's when it's wet and slow and, and cold. I, I think the power guys have more of an advantage than when it's uh, when it's not uh, fast and hard. We've seen Cam Young have success in majors. Maybe not this one yet, but certainly the others. And Will Zalatoris has had his number of top tens already at such a young age. Which of the weight guys do you think has a better shot this week? Well, looking at the tee times, I think Cam Young, because he's getting he's getting to play with two of the big guns. He's playing with Justin Thomas and John Rahm, and that that's got to help him because I think, you know, he's going to see what it takes and what these guys can do. And I, I think that helps him. Will is having, you know, he's having some putting issues. He had the back back surgery, was out three or four months, and then he had a stomach bug and he lost like seven or eight pounds. And Will Zalatoris cannot afford to lose weight because he's already as a thin as a two iron. So I think uh, Cameron has the, the the better chance, you know, to to do well. And you know, obviously they're the two weight guys that are in the field, and I'll be you know keeping an eye on them. John Dell with us here. Read his story in the Winston Salem Journal today, talking about the five golfers that he will be keeping a close eye on on the eve of the Masters, and of course, read his coverage from Augusta starting tomorrow. He'll be out that way Rory McIlroy one of the guys that we're all watching it's weird do you get the sense that he is the prominent storyline this week because that's my sense and I don't remember the last time a tournament field featured Tiger Woods at Augusta and he wasn't the biggest story I actually think Rory is kind of under the radar because all this Mm -hmm. live PGA tour battle that's going on I think that kind of plays although Rory is very a big proponent of the PGA tour I just think all the other things that are going on is kind of put, you know, Rory kind of on the, on the, uh, underneath the radar, which is fine for him. Um, and, and, you know, obviously I think, you know, he, to, to win, he wants to win the career grand slam. And I really think that 64 last year in the final round where he, you know, made, made a birdie from the, from the bunker on the 18th. I think that's going to help him. I, I just think that, you know, he's been, this is his 11th time, I think playing in the masters and he's going to win it eventually. Um, and I think it sets up for him to – he's kind of my overall pick. Of course, he'll, oh. probably, he'll probably shoot 80 tomorrow, but I think uh, you know he's, he's kind of the guy that I think is going to win it. So I've got – this reminds me a lot of the Open Championship last year. My pick is Cameron Smith in that he, he's played so well. I, I worry about – I look at guys who have had great track records at Augusta more than what you – what your regiment might have been going into play this week. Guys are going to elevate their play. We know that. I think a lot's made for not about the live golf readiness angle to things. And the reason it reminds me of the Open Championship last year, everybody was talking about Rory and St. Andrews and all that. And then 
Cam Smith comes in and swoops in. He wins the major championship. I think the bad weather also could play well to his game. He's my pick, but you like Rory McIlroy. Well, I just hope the live guys don't leave after 54 holes. I hope they realize it's a 72-hole tournament. I hope they don't look for a shotgun start tomorrow because they all go off the first tee. But, no, that's that's my little joke. Um, that's good. I, no, the, Cam Smith is, is really playing well. It doesn't matter what tour he's playing right now. And that's kind of why I, I kind of put uh, Brooks Kepka in that on that list because you know he just won, and oh by the way he only won four million from the uh, Live Golf Tour. But um, I don't care where you win if you come in. Uh, I think that's going to help. And and Brooks needs a little momentum to get going. So if he has a good round Thursday, I I would suspect he may hang around for the weekend as well. Never been to the Masters. It's on my bucket list. Right there at the top. John Dell covering his twenty six. Joining us here on WSJS. What's your favorite thing to do when you arrive at the event that maybe somebody who hasn't ever been to the Masters before can't appreciate? I like to look around and see the first timers, the first time fans or patrons as they're called. Um, I like to watch, see them and their expression and what they, what they look, look for, what they look at. And I never, it never ceases to amaze me that they are fascinated by it. And it, it, TV doesn't do it justice. You go out there and you see it and you're like, wow, this is this is better than TV. So I think I just got kind of like looking at the the people that show up and they're there for the first time, because like I said earlier, it never gets old. It's a tradition unlike any other. So it's a uh, it's a great place to be for a week. I'll tell you that. Well, I'm hoping one of these years I can make my way out there. and You could show me the ropes a little bit. I'm still uh, going to hold you to getting me a hat one day. Okay. Bringing a hat bringing a hat back to me because they don't sell those things for you to buy online or anything like that. They're old school in that regard. And I like that. I, I think it's kind of cool. The exclusive uh, exclusivity of it all. And well, also you, the buck 50 pimento cheese sandwiches. Well, when you go into that uh, gift shop, it's like a game show. You're like, <laughs> you're running around. I, my wife keeps ye yelling at me for buying more stuff, but I always say, well, this might be my last year covering it. So I've got more shirts than I know what to do with. But you go in there and you start seeing this and that and wine glasses and beer mugs and coffee mugs. I mean, they've, they've got it all in there. And it's a, it's a game show. You try to see how much money you can spend in a half hour. You grab me something, you can surprise me, and I will pay you whatever it costs with interest. Just Sounds let me know. good. <laughs> John Dell, have, have fun covering this week. And uh, I can't wait to read your coverage. Thanks for spending the time. Thanks, guys. Have a good week.